welcome uh, to the topic today is calculus and we're going to look at the application of calculus to kinematics so the question reads the acceleration of a particle moving from a fixed point o after t seconds is a and then at a calculate the velocity of the particle after one second given that the initial velocity is 36 meters per second b calculate the displacement of the particle during the second second c calculate the maximum velocity d find the displacement when the particle is momentarily at rest so straight to the first part so we are required to calculate the velocity of the particle after one second given that the initial velocity is 36 meters per second so first of all we are given that acceleration a is equal to 6 minus 24t and in order to calculate the velocity velocity is usually obtained by integrating acceleration with respect to t so this implies that the velocity will be given by so we integrate 6 minus 24t with respect to t so that is the acceleration right up here and then this should give us so 6 should be 60 minus 24 over 2 t squared plus c so this is 60 so we have velocity is equal to 60 minus 12 t squared plus c but we also need to know that the initial velocity is 36 meters per second so this information here this information here will help us get the value of c so the initial velocity that is velocity when time is zero we are given us 36 meters per second and in the meantime also we've identified that the time is zero so substituting this in the equation we will have v36 is equal to 6t and that is 6 times 0 minus 12 times 0 squared is 0 plus c so from here we realize that c is equal to 36 so this implies that the velocity is given by so we substitute c in this equation right up here so we have 60 minus 12 t squared plus c but c is 36 right here so with that we can now calculate the velocity of the particle after one second so after one second that is t is equal to one so that implies that the velocity is equal to six so we substitute t in the equation here for velocity so we have velocity is equal to 6 into t but t is 1 minus 12 into 1 squared plus 36 and this from my calculator I get 30 meters per second so next part B you are required to calculate the displacement of the particle during the second second so during the second second simply means between the first and the second second so that period is what you are required to calculate the distance or rather the displacement the particle moved so for us to get the displacement, displacement is simply obtained by 
integrating the velocity so we integrate velocity with respect to time and because it's happening in this period uh, we have the limits 1 and 2 so the between the first and the second second so the displacement s is therefore given us uh, so we are going to integrate v and v integrated will simply be so let me just have this for clarity so we're going to integrate between 1 and 2 we're going to integrate velocity which you have 6t minus 12t squared plus 36 with respect to t so when you integrate we are simply going to have that is 60 squared over 2 minus 12 t cubed divided by 3 plus 36 t plus c so here t is already to power 1 so we simply add 1 to the power so that gives us t squared and then that power that we already got in the t this the 2 we divide the whole thing by it the same applies here we simply increase the power by 1 so that is t cubed and then the power 3 is what we use to divide the whole thing again and the process continues until you're done so the constant term when integrated simply becomes 36 t and then introduce a constant term c so at this particular point we are going to we are integrating within the limits one and two so this simply means that the displacement is obtained by simply substituting the values in terms and getting the difference so we begin with the upper limit and then lower limit and find the difference so the upper limit here will be so before that sorry down here we are supposed to have this simplified so let me simplify it first so this is 3t squared minus 4t cubed plus 36t plus c between 1 and 2 so this will make it easier when you are doing the substitution so for the first bracket we are going to substitute 2 so we have 3 into 2 squared minus 4 into 2 cubed plus 36 into 2 now I'd wish not to include C because in the end C will still disappear so we have that minus next we are substituting the lower limit which is 1 so we have 3 into 1 squared minus 4 into 1 cubed plus 36 into 1 and the first bracket worked out from my calculator I get 52 minus the second bracket this should give me um, that is 35 and then finding the difference we get 17 meters so that is the displacement within that particular period of time so the next question is to calculate the maximum velocity so maximum velocity that simply means dv over dt is equal to zero and dv over dt that is acceleration so at maximum velocity acceleration is zero so this information is important in that it will help us get the value of t to substitute in the equation for velocity and the result will give us the maximum velocity so uh, acceleration already were given in the question so we don't need to differentiate that so we have acceleration as 6 minus 24t so that is what we're going to use we know 
acceleration is equal to 6 minus 2040 and at maximum velocity acceleration is 0 so from this equation here we're going to get the value of t so 2040 is equal to 6 therefore t is equal to 6 over 24 and 6 over 24 should simplify to a quarter so with this we can now get the maximum velocity and the maximum velocity is we simply use the equation for velocity right here and do our substitution when time is a quarter so we're simply going to have so we have 60 60 but our t is a quarter minus 12 t squared and t is a quarter so we square that plus 36 and when this is worked out we should have 36 and 3 over 4 meters per second so that should give us the maximum velocity finally we have to find the displacement when the particle is momentarily at rest so the first thing we need to know is that at rest the velocity is zero so that simply means that velocity which is given by 6t so it's right up here 60 minus 12 t squared plus 36 so that's what i have down here so 60 minus 12 t squared plus 36 and that should be equal to zero because at rest velocity is zero so this information here should help us get the time to substitute in the equation for displacement and that would give us the displacement when the, particle, the when the particle is at rest sorry so here we have 60 minus 12t squared plus 36 i'd wish to simplify this by dividing all through by 6 and that should give us t minus 2t squared plus 6 is equal to 0 so I'd wish to rearrange this uh, so we have so this implies negative 2 t squared plus t plus 6 is 0 I'm not comfortable with the coefficient of t squared being negative so I divide all through by negative so that should give us 2 t squared minus t minus 6 is equal to 0 so we can determine the value of t right here so we can factorize the left hand side so that we have the product as negative 12 that is 2 by negative 6 and the sum is negative 1 the, pro, uh, the coefficient of t and in fact we're looking for two factors so that their product should be negative 12 which is obtained by multiplying 2 and negative 6 and then the sum of the two factors should be negative 1 which you obtain as the coefficient of t so the two factors are negative 4 and 3 so from here we can rewrite the equation by simply replacing negative t by negative 4 and 3 so we have 2t squared minus 4t plus 3t minus 6 is equal to 0 and that should be so we work out this common factor for the first pair here is 2t so we have 2t into t minus 2 plus 3 into t minus 2 is equal to 0 
so what this should give us we're going to have 2t plus 3 into t minus 2 is equal to 0 so 2t plus 3 is 0 simply implies that t is negative 1 and a half and we also have for the second part t minus 2 equated to 0 to imply that t is 2 and we know that t represents time and time can never be negative so we ignore this result and go for t is 2 seconds so this is what we're going to substitute in the equation for displacement and that will give us the maximum or rather the displacement when the particle is momentarily at rest the displacement was given by the equation 3t squared minus 4t cubed plus 36t plus c so that we obtained from part b of the equation right here so when we integrated velocity we were able to get the displacement 3t squared minus 4t cubed plus 36t plus c so that is what we use down here so with that we are going to do our substitutions so we know that when the particle is momentarily at rest so that simply means the particle is at a maximum displacement so at the maximum displacement uh, we know that the time is equal to 2 and this time began from 0 so we are looking at the displacement between the time intervals between the time intervals 0 seconds and 2 seconds so that means when you do a substitution the displacement will be so we substitute within the limits so we have 3t squared minus 40 cubed plus 3060 plus c but we're going to do it between 1 and 2 sorry between 0 and 2 between 0 and 2 so that should give us the first substitution we are going to have uh, when we substitute 2 we have 3 into 2 squared minus 4 into 2 cubed plus 3060 or 36 into 2 sorry and then c will automatically disappear in our substitution so minus uh, when you substitute 0 here, we simply have 0. So our final answer becomes, so the first bracket becomes 52 meters minus the second is 0, so that is just, sorry, that is just 52 meters. And that becomes the displacement when the particle is momentarily at rest. So that marks the end of uh, the solutions to this problem. Otherwise, thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. See you next time.